This is the Pulsajet carburetor components video. So I'll point out a few parts here. This is the fuel tank tube, this thing right here. I'm going to all the way down to the bottom of the fuel tank. This is the fuel cup tube inside there. So this whole thing is called the fuel cup tube. It's got a filter on it, a little sock filter on there. We have the fuel pump cover. That's this piece right here. That's the fuel pump cover. This on top is where the air filter sits. And this is where it connects to the cylinder block, which leads to the intake valve, which goes into the cylinder. A few more parts that we have here. We've taken the pump cover off. And once we've taken that off, we see the pump diaphragm. And the diaphragm is this little circle. And that little circle fits right in this area in the fuel pump cover pocket and then we have a little valve, a little flapper one-way valve and another one right there. Once we pull the diaphragm off we look underneath and we see this little ring right here and underneath it you can just barely see it there is a spring that pushes out against the diaphragm. You'll also see a couple holes this is where one valve was and this is where the other valve was. I'll take a little closer look at that. So you can see the spring and you can see the cap there. And this is the valve. This is the hole here that runs all the way down to the bottom of the fuel tank. It goes right down to the very bottom. This little hole here doesn't run down to the very bottom. It runs down and drains through a little hole that goes into the fuel cup. We'll talk about the fuel cup in a bit. And that little hole that it runs down is right in there. So it just pours right down once it's done with the pump. And we talked about a fuel cup. This is in the fuel tank. Your fuel tank tube goes down into this hole, this area here, right down to the bottom. And then your fuel cup tube goes into this little cup that just sits here. It's a certain height and a certain depth. It's got a cutout here to let fuel run over and back into the tank when it is at the proper level. And the last thing we want to look at is a viewpoint from the very top where the air filter sits. And you look all the way down and you see this bump right here. And then it leads to another bump over on this side. That is a restriction in a tube which is called a venturi. We talked about that earlier already. And then as air goes down through the snout and down past the venturi and past this jet, now this jet leads to the bottom of the fuel cup, then the air speeds up. And as the air speeds up, we have a low pressure area right here. To give you a better picture of where the venturi sits, when we look from the outside, you would see if we cut this carburetor in half you would see the venturi and it would be sitting like this a little narrowing of the tube and you would also see that the jet sits right here and it leads right down to the bottom of the fuel cup tube 